Hey guys, it is July 4th today. Um, we are actually at the lake and just woke up. I didn't want to disturb other people, so I thought I'd come outside. The lake is so pretty this morning. There's just a bunch of fog and some sunshine back there behind me. I'll turn the camera around though, guys, and give you a better view. So Lake Chatug is actually a TVA lake. Most of the lakes around us are TVA lakes. Uh, TVA stands for Tennessee Valley Authority. Uh, so they come in to make the lake and unfortunately it had to displace a lot of home places. So on the banks, lots of glass and pottery and pieces of old crocs will wash up. It's really neat. Uh, it was just pieces of things that they had, um, you know, because the houses were still there and then, uh, you know, they made the dam and the water flooded and, uh, you know, it just kind of, kind of ruined the houses and, uh, yeah, it's really neat though to find stuff that, that washes up because you'll find yourself thinking, you know, was this a crock that they canned stuff in? Was this a plate that they ate out of? It's really neat. So we'll show you guys some of that. <laughs> Katie says, be careful you'll step, step on a sea urchin. I'm like, I don't think we have to worry about that here, but... I wanted to show you guys. We're down here hunting for rocks and uh, pottery and glass, and there's a piece. It just washes up and then gets stuck. Man, so the there's water no telling. Is so nice right now. You could swim right now. I mean, it's bathwater warm. I love like just looking for rocks or like in the shallow part or pieces of stuff. It's just so fun. It reminds me of. The videos I used to see videos all the time of people hunting like sea glass at the beach and then um, they'd just be walking along and then you'd see sand in a big old piece of glass so we're not at the beach but yeah, <laughs> we can do it at the lake so here's another piece probably I don't know, maybe from a plate because it's got that beveled edge. But it's so neat because you wonder who touched this? Whose family did it belong to? What were they like? And it, there's like some little glass growing. So I found another piece. What's really cool is to keep all these and put them in a jar. It's just pretty to set on a shelf because it's decorative, but then you can uh, label where it come from. So tell us about what kind of rocks that you're hunting for. Well, I'm looking for anything that's solid. Um, and some of these seem to be pretty solid. Anything that I Show think. us what you got. Anything that I actually think would take a cut or a polish. And this stuff doesn't look very pretty now, but it will be pretty. Like this piece, that's got a nice color to it. That'll probably take a cut. You know, and then if none of it takes a cut, then bring it back and put it back. You know, you're just trying to see what you can find. That's true. I got a whole bag full. All right, guys, do you see what I see? It's a marble. It's a marble. I'm not sure why that's in here, but. Oh, that no telling the kids play through it in here. Probably so. I seen something blue and I thought, what is that? And then I got closer and I'm like, that's a marble. So this was probably an arrowhead and you can see where the sides have been worked here. 
and here's the bottom but the top's missing you can kind of see how the sides have been flared out too um i think this this side is actually missing too but that's what that looks like to me i could be wrong but that's probably a piece of an arrowhead that's just been broke cool so here's a piece of glass of some kind Lord, there ain't no telling where that went to. Looks old. Probably is. It's gonna go with me to go home and go in a jar, set on a shelf. Having fun? This looks like it would have been on the bottom of a of a bottle or something, so it definitely might be old. Now this is a neat find for sure. You never find them this whole, even though that's only half. You usually just find little bitty pieces. This was the top. Uh, it was on the inside of a mason jar lid when they made the metal lid. So that is pretty neat. That stayed intact halfway all the way up through the bottom of the lake all this time. So that is pretty neat. That might be one of the best finds. So this is kind of what I'm looking for. There's a lot of this in here. This um, kind of pink and orange stuff. And then there's a lot of this stuff that kind of almost looks like feldspar to me this is interesting it's got a real clear vein running through it so these are kind of another example of a type of rock that comes out of this lake that would be good to work with so this is something i don't know if that's it looks old what do you think katie it kind of looks like part of a brick. It's kind of got some yeah. curvature to it. But I can't tell if that's a design or if that's words. Or... Um, yeah, I can't tell if that would be like really old or if it's more just like a piece of something else that got thrown in later. But pretty kinda, cool either way. Kind of hard to tell, really. It's hard to know. Wow, that right there is a piece that looks like of an old crock. That's cool. That would have canned all kinds of food for them to keep them alive through the winters. Wow. This is um, blue. Uh, this is not a material that I've found here before. Um, Put it in your palm and show us. It's kind of, it reminds me a little bit, the color reminds me of appetite, but the crystal structure here is not right for that. Um, yeah, I don't know. Think you'll have to cut it and find out? I will, yeah. And based on how it would polish would be how I would identify it. Depending on what kind of polish it takes, it would give me a better idea of what type of rock it is. But I can tell you now, it's probably uh, some kind of silicate. So, we'll see. Okay, so... I walked over this the first time and I was headed back the direction I come and I saw something partially buried. And oh what do you gosh. know? That's crazy. It's a whole horseshoe. That's a whole that's not the first um horseshoe I found. Now I found a broken horseshoe, a part of one, but this is a full horseshoe. And this is kinda narrow, so this might have been a narrow footed mule or a horse, but that's that's what we're talking about. Stuff that washes up out of this lake. There's no telling what um what horse shoe this and wore it so that's wow i just saw I just, this much and i thought i sold scrap iron and i pulled it out and that's my lucky horseshoe wow now that's really neat that looks like i don't know like it could have been a piece of a handle to something that's a chunky little piece wow Wow, that's cool. Looks like that would have been the bottom. I wonder if it was a jar. It's got the number 10 on it. 
So I just found this piece. I waited out here and it was submerged like this and I saw that edge and that edge and I honestly thought it was a buried plastic bag. But this was um, definitely probably part of a crock or a bowl. So that's just another piece. This kind of this whole weekend, we've just been on fire with finding stuff. It's just kind of a weekend. And usually weekends like this where the lake sees a lot of traffic and a lot of waves, heavy movement of the water will really push some of this stuff in or kind of reveal it. So one more piece. might not want to do another one. <laughs> Poor daddy, he's got the tendonitis. So we um, are having a great 4th of July. We hope that you are having a great 4th of July. By the time you see this video, the 4th will be over. We hope you had a great 4th. Um, and we are about to go get something to eat. We actually had some hamburgers last night before we watched the fireworks. So we're gonna eat leftover hamburgers and we're having a great time. The lake oh, is yeah, actually extremely busy um we're standing on a dock it's kind of like a roller coaster there's so many waves <laughs> yeah show them the lake so you guys can see the dock is really rocking it's just so busy there's so many people out and about on the lake that the water's really choppy boats jet skis just people everywhere people having a good time everybody seems to be having fun being courteous it's really moving though <laughs> We are definitely having a good time. It's such a pretty lake. Hey, look there. I'm going to turn them down just a little bit. And you just fry them, kind of like pancakes. That's nice. I do like potato cakes. Mm -hmm. I love potatoes about anyone. Oh, yeah. What do you mean? Making fried squash? Oh, yeah. You like fried squash. Uh, what? You like fried squash? Oh, yes. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't hear you. I sure do. I sure do.